Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at how to enroll Macs or Mac OS devices into Profile Manager. So we've already set up Profile Manager in a previous screencast and I've also shown you how to enroll an iOS device. I enrolled my iPhone. And so if you haven't seen those screencasts yet, I would recommend you go back and take a look at them so that you can get Profile Manager up and running in the first place. And I've also done a series of screencasts previous to that on getting started with server, how to set up your host name, and all of those different details. So you may want to take a look at that. So here I am over on a Mac that I'm going to enroll in Profile Manager. And so all I need to do is pull up a Safari window like this. I'm going to put in my server name with the forward slash my devices and I get taken to this website. What you will get unless you have a certificate that's verified by a third party is you're going to get this connection is not private warning letting you know that it hasn't been verified. And so that's just a safety feature that's built into Safari. What you want to do is just click on show details and you can view the certificate if you want to do that. I don't need to because I know it's from my server. Instead, I'm just going to say visit this website. And we're going to go ahead and say visit website. And it's going to ask me to uh, sign in to trust the sec uh, security certificate. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that I've done that, you can see that I'm taken to the My Devices screen. And so what I need to do here is log in. And again, you're going to use a username and password from the server. And as I said in the previous screencast, I would recommend that you just set up a generic user uh, that you're going to use for the server uh, so that you can put that username right in here. And you can use it for all of the devices you're going to enroll. I mean, you can use the main server one as well. It's just up to you, uh, but that is an option there as well. Let me just go ahead and put this up here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put in my login credentials. And once I've done that, I just go ahead and hit this arrow right here. It's going to ask if I want to save the password. I'm going to say not now. And so here we are. We're on the My Devices screen, and you can see that it knows that it's a Mac. It even shows a picture of a Mac. And you can see that my phone is down here as well. You can see it shows the iPhone XS down here that's already been enrolled under that same login. And that's why I say there is an advantage if you're managing a lot of users to have separate logins for each user if you wanted to do that. And again, I'll try to show you later how to set up an open directory to make that happen. That's a little bit more of an advanced feature. Um, but your devices will show here on the My Devices screen including anything you haven't enrolled, which is this Mac right here. So what I'm going to do is do the same thing. I'm going to go over to Profiles. And again, if I show the contents, you can see that there's a certificate there that it's going to install. And so I need to install this Trust Profile first. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Install. It's going to uh, download that Trust Profile. And then it's going to tell me that it's going to uh, load two certificates. Now, if I wanted to, I can show the profile. And it's going to show me what those certificates look like, how they were set up, uh, give me some information on them uh, right down here. You can see just different details of what the certificates are. I can hide it, cancel, or continue. I'm going to go ahead and say continue. And so it comes back here and says, are you sure you want to install this trust profile? And I'm going to say yes and click on install. It's going to ask me to authenticate. And I'll just click on OK. And now it's installed the trust profile. And you can see it's right here under the device profile section. Now, what I'll show you is, let me just go back to the beginning here. Once I've installed a profile, you notice I have this new profile section down here. And this is where I can see all of the different profiles that are installed. So if I go back in there, you can see that it's right there and it's all ready to go. So I'm going to go back to the website now. Now I've got this trust profile installed. I'll come back to the devices area here. And now I'm going to go ahead and enroll this device. So I just click on enroll and it's going to download the remote management certificate. Again, same type of thing. I can show the profile here. I can take a look at the certificates in depth if I want to to see what they're all about and what's being added. And you can see the information there on what's being added. So I'm just going to go ahead and say continue. And there's a warning there because you can erase all the information on a computer using Profile Manager. So it does have that warning there. So now I'm just going to click on install and it's going to install the remote management certificate. And so there we go. So now I have this all set up. Uh, it says the functionality may be limited until the profile is approved. And so I'm going to go ahead and approve the profile. It's important that you do this. And it's just going to ask, do you really want to do that? And I'm going to say approve. And so uh, they can't be approved while remote or automated input methods are being run. So in my case, what I'm doing is I'm using a screen share right now uh, to access this other computer. And so it won't allow me to approve it remotely. And that's a security feature that I need to do that locally. So I'm just going to say OK and leave that alone. But when you click this approve, it'll ask you to authenticate and then you'll be able to have an approved certificate. 
So now all I can do is go back here to the main website and you can see now it's showing my Mac Mini and it even gets the picture right of whatever the device is along with my serial number and you can see that I can lock and wipe the machine right from here uh, which is different. The only addition down here for iOS devices is I can clear the passcode if I want to do that. But again I can lock it or I can wipe it and I can do that remotely from any website that I want to do that from and uh, manage my device that way. And so what you would do is go through and just continue add all of your different devices and then you would have access to them from this my devices screen not only that but as I'm going to show you it's added them to your actual profile manager website instance as well so that we can start to control the details of these two machines so that's how that works and at any time if I want to remove a device I just come up here and click on remove and it will take that device out for me so that shows you how to enroll Mac OS devices into profile manager so that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.